Welcome to rugby.com.au's sneak preview of the Super W kicking off this weekend. I'm joined by the lovely 13 cap former Wallaroo, Molly Gray. Molly, it's so good to have you on board today. Well, we start off on Saturday night. The Brumbies are facing the New South Wales Waratahs. They went undefeated last season. Now, they're stacked with a whole side of Wallaroos girls. Do you think the Brumbies stand a chance? <laughs> I think that when you have 15 Wallaroos in one side and only five in another, it's definitely going to lean towards the New South Wales side. They've got so much experience. They're being led by Ash Hewson. She is the GOAT. You know, you can't get much better than Ash Houston. They've got Gracie Hamilton in there as well and Leckie. And there's, you know, there's so much experience. I think uh, the Brumbies have a really young side, but they're being led by Michelle Millwood. They've got Louise Burrows in there as well. So they do have, you know, they're definitely going to have a little bit of a chance, but I think it's going to be a bit tricky for them. But this will be a really good stepping stone for them to nurture their young side. Now to Queensland and no doubt they'll be hungry for revenge this year and they've actually got a new, a newly appointed head coach, Moana Virtue, to lead them through this second season of Super W. Yeah, Mo's got a lot of experience coaching and having that, um, you know, the season with the Wallaroos is going to be really good for her to bring that into the Queensland side. Queensland is experienced, they've been running after this win for so long now and they've been chasing New South Wales for so many years. I think that they're going to come into this season with a different mindset, hopefully. We saw last year in the grand final against New South Wales that they matched them all the way to the very end and I think it was just that maybe a little bit of doubt that they had in their mind where they just sort of you know dropped the ball a little bit and maybe lost their marbles along the way but hopefully they can sort of switch that up and really come into this season strong. They've got Mo, they're being led by Liz Parr too, you know you can't go much further than that. I really think they are going to have a really strong season. Now the Melbourne Rebels women, they've got a whole beefed up side full of international stars. They went through winless last season so no doubt they'll be wanting to to put some points and some wins on the scoreboard. Well, they opened their, they had an open invitation for people to come in and try out for their side. I think they recognised the fact that they didn't really have the experience and the depth that they needed last year, so they opened up the floor to anyone to come in. They've got a lot of army girls in there this time, and they have been trained well for the last few years. I trained alongside them for a long time as well, so I know that they're going to bring some really good power to the side. Um, yeah, they've got a lot of uh, more experience this year. And that's exactly what they need. They need to get up there and they need to be competitive and I think that that's exactly what's going to happen for them. So Molly, your quick picks for this weekend. We've got New South Wales and the Brumbies, Rebels and Queensland. Who are you picking for the wins <laughs> in both those games? I don't think you can look past New South Wales for the win against the Brumbies and I think that Queensland are going to take it over the Rebels this time. Um, but hopefully we'll see the Rebels lift in the future as with the Brumbies as well. Right, well you can catch all the live action here on rugby.com.au and it will be streamed on KO Sports. Molly will actually be commentating all this weekend so you can catch her on there as well. Thank you so much for watching.